What's up Hoopers, this is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to go over the top five crossover moves that you can use in games. Let's get started. All right, Hoopers, in today's video, you're gonna get five different crossover moves that you can use in a game situation. Now, it's important that you pay close attention so you get these moves down so you can apply them and use them in your game. So the first one we're gonna go over is a double cross. So if we're out here on the wing area and we're going against the defender, we're trying to break him down with a double combination move, one that we can use that allows us to be quick and fast with our move is the double crossover. We get our defenders back on their heels with a single cross to set them up and we come back with the second one. So as we're here out on the wing and we got a defender in front of us, we can go with the double cross using one and to come back with the second. So this will allow you to use the move from a slow to fast pace or just going fast completely the entire time, which we would look like you would go boom, boom and blow by. Or if you wanted to go slow to fast, you can use one cross and then come back with the second one to get by the defender. So when I show you this in full speed, you'll see both of them. You'll see the slow to fast pace where I set you up with the first one and come back fast with the second, or you'll see the one that's completely just going one pace the entire time where it's a quick double cross to get by the defender. All right, so this is move one of five. These are all moves that you can use if you feel the advantage against a defender, transition, one-on-one -on -one situation, isolation, whatever it may be. These are great moves that you can use in game situations, so make sure you're working on it, paying close attention. The first one coming at you in full speed right now is the double cross. It's dark and hell is hot. Never know when it might stop. Christ coming back soon, make the sky pop. Writing on the wall, and I put that on my life. Weight of the world on his back, homie, that is light. People while in over text, I am not the type. First time he came back, it happened overnight. Hands folded. All right, move number two, one of my favorites to use is the double between the legs, all right? So it's sort of similar like the double crossover, but now we're going between the legs. And again, you could go quick, boom, boom, to get by your defender, or you could go slow. <coughs> okay, slow to fast. Pace is great when you're using dribble combinations and dribble moves like the ones that we're going over today because it allows you to set your defender up, feel them out, see how they're playing you defensively, and to be able to come back with that second one. So if I'm using the double between the legs and the first one they get in front of me and I size them up and I see how they're playing me, I'm here, okay, they take that away, now I can come back the other direction and really beat them, right? And each one of these moves you have different counters that you can go to if I wanted to, I could just go between and hesitate and blow by, or I can go between, in and out, and get by. But with this one, we're going to double between the legs, okay? So we're here, boom, boom, and we're out. Again, this is great to use in transition. Isolation, off of a pick and roll. If you have the advantage and you feel like you can exploit your defender, use the double between the legs. Again, one of my favorites, practice it, take your time with it, work on different pace. Work on going fast the entire time. Work on going slow to fast, all right? But each, off of this move, we're trying to go forward. We're trying to keep our momentum going straight. We don't wanna go, right? We wanna go straight at him, we wanna go here. So then when we come off, we're getting our shoulder right into the hip of this defender to force the advantage that we're looking for to get all the way to the basket. Move number two, right now that you're gonna see in full speed, is a double between the legs. I'm praying to the sky, no one got to hear me. I wait on his reply. Even on the day when I don't hear nothing, I know he's plotting something, and that's why. Keep it coming. I say, no, we running. And God, we trust. I can write this like that, so every word that's. All right, move number three that you can use as a crossover move in a game is the Sham God, one of the most popular moves for guards to use and becoming more popular in the game. So what this is, 
Because if I'm attacking my defender, you're gonna need a little bit more space with this move because you have to be able to go into it. I can't just start here and go into it if the defender is this close. I wanna be able to create space so if I have a mismatch, I can pull him out, I can go to work. So the first thing you have to be able to do with the sham god is to throw the ball out one direction. So if the ball's in my right hand, I'm gonna throw it out in front. If it's in my left, I'm gonna throw it out in front. All right, step two is to reach across and snatch that ball over. So I throw it with my right hand, I grab across with my left, okay? So if I'm out here looking at you, throw it out with my right, snatch it across with my left, all right? So I'm attacking my defender, ah, here we go, boom, and I attack, and I'm on my way. So with my feet, right, I gotta sell the move with my feet as well. I'm going slow, boom, and I'm snatching, right? So I'm here, boom, plant that foot that's on the same side, reach and push. So my momentum is going from this side, I grab the ball, boom. I grab the ball from that right foot here, I snatch across, so I'm changing my momentum and my weight from my right foot to my left to drive the basketball. This is the sham god. Here it is, move number three in full speed. Everywhere that I spin is golden A, rocking the bell, slipping you L's, you know we locked and loaded. This is my moment, I'm gonna own it, but I drive it like it's stolen. Running, running through these lights, yeah, I got to keep it rolling. I'm gonna put my life in your hands, so I know I'll always be free. Yeah, let these demons think for my head, cause they know they live in my feet. And we know these dudes is always gonna hit for what your son can do on the beat. They look at my flaws and pray for my fall, but I ain't losing no sleep. I'm feeling this life, but the hope that Alright, so move number four, the fourth move we're going to work on is the drop cross. Now this one, again, you're gonna need a little bit more space. So this is probably one that you wanna use in transition, maybe in an isolation situation where you can drag your defender out and create a little bit more room for yourself to make a play. So if I have my defender here, buddy's at the top of the key, I'm trying to attack him, I wanna use the drop cross as this move. So what I'm gonna do is I have the ball in one hand, it doesn't matter left or right, and all I'm gonna do is drop the ball over to the other side jab from the foot that the ball started with. So if the ball's in my right hand, I'm gonna jab with that right foot, cross, jab, plant, and push. Okay, same thing, if I'm on my left hand, the left foot would, would uh, be the jab foot. So I drop cross, jab, and attack to the rim to score, right? So if I'm looking at you, I'm dropping it over, I jab, I push, I'm going forward, right? So cross, jab, push, and score. All right, so this is move number four. This is the drop cross. Check it out in full speed. Like, what the fuck? Then I feel like the whole squad with me and I'm gonna make a million. My Air Force ones feel real because they're talking about day once and it's off. This ain't no stops on this grind, man. Y'all already know, but I ain't never in a rush, so I'ma cook this slow, eh? All right, now the final move in this video is a triple combination move. We're gonna go with a double behind the back to a crossover. So as I attack Buddy, again, I need some space with this move. I'm coming down, one, two, and bring it back. So as I attack, I gotta go into my move a little earlier. So I'm coming down, and I'm blowing by, right? So after that double behind the back, one, two, I gotta plant that outside foot to push my weight and momentum back this way to continue on to the basket. So I'm here, boom, 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 plant and push and get by, okay? Triple combination moves are great to use if you execute them quick and you know what you're trying to accomplish. If you just dance out here with, you know, one move, two moves, and then three moves, you continue to allow the defender to set up. But if you're using a move like this, where you're continuously on the attack, then you can be able to break the defender down a lot easier because they have limited time to react and reset their positioning. All right, so this is the final move for today's video. This is the double behind the back to a crossover in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, there's five different moves that you can use as crossover moves 
in a game situation. Now, if you like today's video, do me a favor, click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think and anything else you want to see down the road in the future so we can continue to do what we love by providing you the opportunity to improve your game. But the most important button that you do click is that subscribe button to join Think Pro Basketball. Join the Think Pro Basketball family and check out all the great content that we have to offer on our channel. All right, so now it's your turn to get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, work on the five moves that you've seen today, and remember to always keep hooping.